Welcome to the Sign Lab Image Processing uh, demonstration, the second video. Today I would like to uh, show you how to extend the functionality of uh, our previous code. Uh, in the previous video I have uh, shown a user interface with two buttons, an open push button and a normalized push button. I will start it and it was working the way that we can open a picture, let's say tomatoes, a greenhouse or a garden and we can uh, see the normalized colors uh, they were normalized to have the same intensity so also only the color makes the difference between uh, the pixels and now I would like to uh, change it uh, to build forward this user interface I will add one new button to make segmentation, I would like to find the tomatoes on the picture. So a third button will be PB segment will be the name. The tag will be also the same segment, a push button. The text I will change, but uh, instead of find the tomato, I will call it find red color because the computer cannot know what is uh, in red color it can be anything but now in our case it's tomato the position should change uh, because the height is 0 0.06 so I will uh, subtract it uh, plus the space between uh, the buttons so it will be 74 because 0 0.08 I had to minus from the previous position and I need a new callback function called segment. So I need a new callback, fun callback function which will do the segmentation for me to recognize the tomatoes in this picture. So the ma main goal of the function will be recognize tomatoes in the picture the normalized name I will change to segment since I, since I uh, refer this the calculation must change of course I still need to calculate the normalized red uh, channel so the red color uh, pixel the red uh, uh, channel will be divided by the summary and if it is higher than 0 0.33 one third of course the red dominance uh, appears but uh, maybe we need strong dominance to be able to recognize the tomatoes and not just something a little bit reddish um, so after this I will make a segmentation I will say that uh, the red pixels which are below in the normalized intensity of 0 0.5 I will set to zero and the remaining which now are above zero they were not uh, modified to have zero value uh, will be one so now I have a binary mask uh, for all pixels and to be able to use it as a, a picture later on this binary mask uh, should be transferred the unsigned integer 8-bit so a byte It will be there and I will show this. I will multiply with 255 to scale from 1 and, and 0 to uh, 255 and 0. And this way uh, I will be able to see the result of the segmentation, a binary mask. Save it and then run. First I will check whether there is any error message. No, no error message. So it seems to work. Now I open it tomato picture and find red colors yes it was able to find it now I can see the red but also red surface of the tomatoes but some other parts uh, maybe this reddish uh, greenish tomato is fine but the stem not and other uh, small spots so it would be nice later to be able to modify this threshold because now I just uh, entered 0.5 to be able to use that, I need a user interface element uh, which can modify values. For example, I need a slider. Then I can let uh, my user to define its value. 
you can see that the slider user interface control element can exist. So I can add to my session uh, handles will be user interface slider user interface control element F figure I will use and first I repeat the previous tags so the tag will be user interface slider if I want to identify it later then the style will be slider I want to put a slider on the user interface it, it has no string but has some position I'm lazy a little bit so I copy the function here again the parts uh, I will subtract uh, the 0 0.06 height of the element again and it will be 868 then the position is ready and there are some specific uh, values for example minimum maximum the value and additionally there is one slider step so these numeric values should be identified uh, the minimum value will be zero the maximum value will be one so this is what i can adjust these are the limits the current value the initial how we start will be 0 0.5 and when I change the slider step you can see that uh, slider step okay uh, you can see here in the hub that uh, there are two values small and big values so the small changes will be 0 0.05 the big change 0 0.1 okay I finished with all values and I need a callback function the callback function will be the same like in the segmentation because I would like to see that the segmentation is working okay so now I will have a slider and when I move the slider the segmentation procedure uh, will run okay I close the help check any error message no error message I just added a slider to the user interface so I open the picture okay I can find the red and what happens if I change oh, nothing oh it <laughs> it didn't change unfortunately because I forget to use the slider uh, value here to be able to communicate uh, with the function I have to get the threshold value so threshold will be get from uh, the user interface element it is in the handle session user interface slider and I need the property value of value and then I will make the comparison to the threshold threshold okay so now I save and run again okay no error message I modified the segment function that's true tomato picture I find the red and yes if I modify you can see that it is working and I can uh, find a suitable position in the slider where only the tomatoes appear on the picture so it is working it could be only professional one way if we don't see the binary mask but the picture of the tomatoes and only the background I clear we can do it very easily because uh, we have three layers in the picture one from one to three I will modify the layers all pixels in layer number I the binary mask I will apply on the layer because it is zero or one if I multiply I can delete uh, the background easily this way okay so they will be removed and then I can show the picture which was applied with the binary mask save again run and no error message only the function is modified so tomato I can find the tomatoes oh it looks very nice that I see the real tomatoes on the picture and now you can see that 
I can modify with the slider uh, suitable position where uh, only the tomatoes appear on the picture. So this is how the segmentation is working and now you could see what is the advantage using the normalized color and how to make a nice user interface with interactive elements and let the user uh, to adjust uh, the threshold. Have fun with image processing. Thank you very much for watching this video.